welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be doing a video on all of my favorite pet grooming products. So this is probably the most requested video that I have gotten um, over the years that I have been doing these videos is what do you use for this and what do you use for that and I know that all of these things are on the channel but I know that it's a little bit difficult to go back and really try and find all of the things so what I am trying to do today is give you a concise video with all of my favorites right here in this updated video so let's get started so the first thing that we're going to talk about is bathing what shampoo have I been using? Now, I still love the Show Premium Pet Grooming products. I do still use those, but ever since I have been in the RV, which has been um, now, what, about six months, I guess, I have gone back to a shampoo and conditioner that I used years ago because you don't have to dilute it. It's very, very easy, and I love the results. And this is the Isle of Dogs everyday let's see here everyday silky coating shampoo and conditioner I love 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 this shampoo and conditioner I used this for years before I used the pet show grooming pet premium show grooming well you know that, that is the hardest name to remember like what goes first pet grooming pet show grooming show bro I don't know but anyway this is what we're talking about right now because this is what I have been using for the past six months and I love 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 it now you can buy this on Amazon and I am going to link I am going to link everything in the description box below so don't worry about you know writing everything down I am going to link everything so that you can have easy access to all of the things that you may want or not okay so this one um, is jasmine and vanilla it smells divine it smells so so good and i use the shampoo and i do not dilute these so it's very very easy it works very well it leaves them smelling so yummy fresh and clean and it does a great job on all of their coats so even though it says silky coating um shampoo and conditioner like i use it on everybody so it works really really well um, it's moisturizing it's protecting and it's also um, smoothing so it works really really good on Shizu's and Cavaliers because they do have that coat that needs to be smoothed out and I absolutely love this now before you bathe you are going to want to protect the eyes and I do this with this product right here and this is called I'm doing the old time youtuber put the hand behind the product thing here but this is called safe eye now there is another product on Amazon right now that's the same exact thing it's actually what I had before I ran out and it's called eye safe so safe eye eye safe same product basically what this is is it's a type of oil that is used inside the dog's eyes to prevent the shampoo and conditioner from getting in there and creating a corneal abrasion or a burn actually not an abrasion a burn because chemicals in the shampoo and conditioner even you know lathered up if it gets in the eye then you are in deep trouble so you want to protect the eyes just by putting one or two drops in each eye before you bathe so that you don't have to worry if accidentally you get a little bit of suds in the eyes they are protected with this oil okay so that's what I do for the bath now I love my pro stand dryer as many of you know from my previous videos I have an Oster pro stand dryer that I absolutely love I mean it is the most amazing dryer ever and I miss it so much I mean really really I truly miss that dryer but being in the RV I had absolutely no place to bring a dryer like that so I have this 
little charming piece right here and it has been it has been doing a great job it's also less expensive than the Oster stand dryer which I actually think is not even available anymore I went to look at for it the other day for someone and we had a hard time finding it so I'm not really sure if it's even available anymore but no worries because this little thing does a great job of course it's pink because it's my favorite color but this is the flying pig pro grooming dryer and this thing is amazing it really is it is awesome so it's pretty lightweight it has a handle on it so that you can move it all over the place it comes with a pretty long hose and what I really really like about this dryer is that it has a couple of different settings so you can put heat on heat off you can make it um, hotter or cooler and this little knob right here controls the flow so if you're doing the face you can put it down really low so that it doesn't blow so forcefully in their face and it works really really good it dries them in no time and that's the thing like you can use just a regular blow dryer um, absolutely you can use a regular blow dryer but it's a little awkward I find that working with a um, a hose like this is a lot easier than working with a blow dryer because the first bath that I did in the RV I just used the blow dryer because I'm like okay well we'll just use the blow dryer it won't be that bad psych it was bad so next thing I knew I had to go out and get something more portable and this little flying pig definitely did the trick so I'm gonna turn it on because I want you to hear um, the sound. Now, anytime you're using a dryer, you want to make sure that you get your pets used to it so that they don't freak out because, you know, it can be a little loud. But this one is not too bad. And like I said, I like the way that it kind of has that knob that you can turn to turn down the flow. So they're probably going to jump. So just be, be, <laughs> they're kind of just hanging out right there in the video so perfectly all right let's see if they stay just lying down all right here we go okay so I have it on low right now not bad not bad at all it's blowing I have stuff on my refrigerator and it's like blowing it And then I'm turning the little knob. And this is how much air comes out at its lowest level. So listen how quiet it is. You know, I said like, oh, it's, it's loud. You have to get your pet used to it. But I promise you, this is the quietest pro dryer that's probably on the market. Like. That's one of the things that these dryers are known for is being notoriously very, very loud. This one is not that loud. So I love it. And like I said, I love this. So this is very, very low heat. Um, and that is the lowest level. the knob to the top and this is higher heat so no heat is in the middle um, the little knob going all the way down is low heat and then we have um, higher heat but not too hot in on the top button so I highly recommend this dryer for all of your pet grooming drying needs because it really does work okay now let's go on to the next thing this little mat I love this mat this is just a microfiber bath mat it works great underneath like when I groom um, the dogs mainly Stassi and Harper uh, when I'm doing Stassi's top knots 
or when I'm brushing, I just whip this baby out and put it on top of the table and it has a non-stick back on the back of it and it doesn't slip here so she feels nice and secure and this is just a regular microfiber bath mat. It's awesome on Amazon. Okay, next thing we have is our combs. Now, I use mainly three combs. Now, I didn't take everything with me when I um, moved out of my house into the RV. I basically said, okay, what do I absolutely need? And this is what I'm showing you. So this is what I absolutely need and I, I love all of these products. So I use basically three types of combs and using a comb is very, very important, almost more important than a brush, almost more, more important than a brush because after you brush, you wanna make sure and go through their coat with a butter comb so that you can pick up any kind of little knots that may happen and this is um, what you know this is perfect for this so the first one is the seven inch coarse comb by Chris Christensen you guys know that I love Chris Christensen's products yes they are a little bit pricey but they are worth it absolutely worth every bit of this so this one I use all the time on all of the dogs except for Finley she really just gets a, a rub down she really doesn't even need to be brushed or combed um, the next one is the Chris Christensen seven inch let's see I made some notes um because I couldn't remember all of the sizes but this is a seven inch coarse rat tail comb Chris Christensen as well this little thing is expensive I'm not sure why this is so much more expensive than this comb but it is um, but the great thing about this comb is that you can use it for the face of a, a Shizu so you can use it you know to calm down um she's like I'm, I'm tired of this um you can use it to comb down the the hairs right here on the face and then you can also use it to part like if you're making piggy tails or anything like that so i did have the little small five inch comb as well but really you don't need both you only need one and this one does both this does the face and the the piggy tail parts or anything like that if you're parting down the back um, this one will do the trick and then I bought this comb and I just saw it on Amazon and I thought hmm I, I like this because it has like a rubber handle to it and it really does the same thing as this butter comb except I like the the rubber handle on it so I do like that part um, and it has the small teeth and the coarse teeth so the fine teeth and the coarse teeth which really gets through those knots and so I really like this this one is by the brand poodle it's the brand I mean I know that's the breed of a dog but it's the brand of this and I will link this I really like this now I will tell you that um, this is my second one so that's the downside of this is that I don't think that it's the quality of the Chris Christensen. Nothing is, in my opinion, um, which is the reason why you're paying more money for it. This is a little bit cheaper, but it's not the quality. I've already had to buy my, this is my second one because this tooth right here just like kind of went wonky. Like why? I don't know. It kind of came out of the plastic piece here. And um, yeah, so. I didn't really I don't really like that about it but I did buy it again because I do love the feel of the rubber handle so I still use this one um, but I'm mainly using this one on Grayson because I use I use all of them really but I just really like the the rubber handle I just wish that it was a little bit you know sturdier but it is what it is all right, speaking of it is what it is and quality, I forgot my Chris Christensen pin brush. So it is packed with all of my other dog grooming products. And so I will tell you that that is definitely my choice for brushes, for Shizu's, for um, really for all breeds. A pin brush is amazing and a pin brush is where you have like the little um 
metal pieces with the little tiny little balls on the end and it usually has like a cushion so that's what like a pin cushion and that's what a pin brush is so I accidentally packed my Chris Christensen pin brush it's a 27 millimeter um, copper pin brush I will link that in the description box below because that is my favorite brush but I wasn't going to buy another one just because I forgot it and if you have ever moved you probably realize that once it goes into storage unless you get extremely lucky and the box um, is right there in the front you're not finding it until you get everything out of storage so I bought this one off of Amazon and this one is by Andis and it had really good reviews and it's a great brush don't get me wrong it is a great brush I love the way it performs um, it performs probably just as good as the Chris Christensen I like that it's a nice you know big size see it's compared to my palm of my hand um, I love everything about the brush but again the quality so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but I have lost a couple of teeth already um, and I've had this brush for less than six months but I have lost a couple of teeth already and I can tell you that my Chris Christensen brushes um, are like they still have all of their teeth that's a good thing uh, but if you are looking to have a good brush I'm not gonna say that this is a horrible brush it's definitely less expensive than a um, Chris Christensen brush it definitely is a good choice um, I just wish that it was a little bit better quality all right next things next is a pin brush now this pin brush here is mainly used for Grayson I um, rarely ever use a pin brush on Stasi or Harper really I kind of never do I never use a pin uh, not a pin brush slicker brush slicker brush I'm sorry so this slicker brush is mainly used for Grayson I could not live without this brush though it is amazing I will do a video if you guys are interested in how I line brush Grayson and I use this brush this slicker brush um, so if you are a slicker brush fan and you want a good slicker brush this is the one though that I will recommend this is the coral Chris Christensen slicker brush and it is amazing it goes right through mats and knots and then you come back with the butter comb and it works really really good for line brushing all right the next thing that we're going to talk about is what i use to cut nails so for um stassi harper and grayson i use this type of finley is, is locked in the bathroom right now because she would be all over all of this knocking it all down and now she's like wanting to get out so if you hear scratching she's just right there uh, but anyway this is the type of nail clipper that I use for the my dogs who have long hair because you cannot use a Dremel on dogs with long hair that would be a freaking disaster so you don't want to do that um, so this is just one that I bought at PetSmart you can buy this type anywhere works really good and just replace them every I would say six months or so because when they get dull then it kind of hurts the dogs and so the minute they start like eh, you know doing that when I'm cutting their nails I'll know that this is getting dull I throw it away and I buy another one um, the next thing is the Dremel so if you do have a dog that has short hair on their feet then you my suggestion would be to use a Dremel and I love this Dremel for Finley my pug because she's got no hair to get tangled up in the Dremel so this one works really really well and this is the brand that I have so it's probably not going to focus so this is called the Dremel 7900 yes I don't have my glasses on 7900 it has three speeds so that's high probably needs to be charged and then that is low and then it comes with a charger 
Um, and then the brand is just Dremel, D-R-E-M-E-L. And then I have this little case that I keep it in. And then with the Dremel, you also get the extra little pads like this that you would replace and it has a spot for these little pads, which I'm gonna need some more because I only have one more left. So I really like this Dremel, it works really well, but don't use it if you have a dog that has long hair on their feet because it can get tangled up and that is never good. Next is my scissors. Now, I love these scissors and I really do not know um, the model number. I think these are discontinued because I can remember that they were discontinued way back when I bought them. I just found them somewhere. I can't even remember, but I do remember that they were discontinued, but you can, I'm sure, find something very similar on Amazon or on Chris Christensen's site. This is Chris Christensen, and this is what they look like. So maybe you can just like take a screenshot or something and then find something similar. It's just a regular pair of scissors, really, you know, sharp scissors. And I love these for going around the feet. And if I need to trim up Stassi's skirt or Harper's ears, that's basically what I use these for. So Chris Christensen makes the best shears. I absolutely love them. All right, moving right along here. Let's talk about Stassi's pillow. Now, I don't mean to burst your bubble about this pillow, but it is not available anymore. But you can, I'm sure, find a top knot pillow um, in other places. If you cannot find them, ask a poodle breeder, a Shih Tzu breeder, a Yorkie breeder, any breeder that breeds dogs with top knots, and I'm sure they can give you better advice on where you can find a top knot pillow. But this one I bought off of Etsy years ago, five years ago, and she is no longer in business. I don't know what happened to her. But if you are watching, we miss you, we love you, and please come back. Thank you. All right, so that is enough of that. The next thing that I want to show you is my Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover. I love this product. So this is what I use. Um, I really don't use it as much as I used to use it. I used to use this a lot. When Stassi was a puppy, every single day I use this. Really, to be honest with you, I barely have to use it anymore. She stays nice and clean. Stassi! I'm sorry, she's like, here we go, Stassi. Come see, your people is going to see you. Um, but this keeps her face like nice and clean, but really and truthfully, I don't really have any problems with her keeping her tear stain free or anything like that. She like outgrew all of that years ago and really her grooming routine has become quite short. I hardly do anything with her anymore other than brush her, bathe her, do her top knots. That's pretty much all I do. Well, I do a few other things, of course, but as far as like the daily routine that I was doing, I don't have to do that anymore with her. She is wonderful. But if you are looking for a product that will get um, the this area clean, this is a great product. I love, love, love this product. I love the way it smells, and I love that you don't have to rinse it, and it is called the Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover. You have to buy this on pishpad.com. I will link it below. Um, and they have a store that you can buy this one from. And this, of course, is by Show Premium, no, Premium Show Pet Grooming Products. I'm gonna get it right one of these days. It's really not that important. As long as you know where to get it, right? Okay, speaking of face cleanings, I am gonna talk about these new products by Shake Organic Pet. I have been loving these products. And this is another face cleaner that I have been using, and I really love it. It smells really, really good. It's a foam where this is more of a liquid. This is a foam. You just squirt one or two squirts, and then just rub it in, and then it just dries. And it gives their face like a nice, um, 
really like a nice scent to it and I did write down some notes because of course I don't remember everything that is in all of these products but it has organic aloe castile soap olive um organic olive oil and sunflower oil juniper berry palmarosa lavender chamomile passion flower and dandelion and it's all organic so it's all natural it freshens and cleans the face and it combats bacteria it soothes and disinfects the um the hair and it's antifungal as well so it's great for after they eat or if they have any outdoor um, activities or anything like that. Um, and it smells really, really good. So all of the Shake Organic products, you can use the code Simply Rocks for 15% off. So thank you Shake Organic for giving us that discount. We really appreciate it. While I am on the Shake Organic products, I'm gonna go through all of the ones that I have been using and I really, really love. The next one is this coat spritz. Now, most of you know that I don't give anything for fleas or ticks, and I don't really like putting that poison into the pet's bodies, but this is great because this repels fleas and ticks naturally, and it has ingredients in here that gives them a holistic defense against those nasty little critters. Um, so far, we haven't had any problems, so I am really thinking that this may just work, and it smells really good as well. The next product that we have here by Shake Organic is the Mouth Cleanser. I love this product. It's like the doggy version of Scope or Listerine. It's the doggy mouthwash. And basically what it does is it fights bacteria because you know that bacteria is what causes bad breath, right? Just like in humans, so does it happen in dogs as well. So this product here um, fights bacteria it cleanses the mouth it keeps it nice and minty fresh and the dogs really love it they when I go to you know bring this out they are like you know they don't mind it at all so I just squirt one one or two squirts in each of their mouths and then they lick it it coats the teeth and it also is supposed to fight tartar as well so we're really loving this mouth cleanser by shake organic the next thing that I have here is the ear cleanser and I kind of went crazy with their products because I started reading everything and I'm like oh, I love this I love this I love this and it really um, I have been really really loving them now this product here again I made some notes because I cannot remember everything that's in it but this one has organic witch hazel aloe rose chamomile lavender peppermint Nayuli and sage. It is also an antifungal and an antibacterial and the website says that it can be used to fight ear infections as well as using it as a preventative. <laughs> um, to keep the ears nice and clean and loosen up the wax and everything that could cause you know your pet to have ear infections or stink or and or and or stinky ears so it fights odor um, and it's just a great great product it has kept the dog's ears very clean and I really really love the smell of this um, it also relieves yeast which you know yeast is so nasty and that is also what causes that musty smell so this is amazing um, it also gently flushes the ears out and it helps with itchy ears. So if you have a pet that has itchy ears, um, you may want to try this. And the website also says that it helps prevent or kill ear mites. So we haven't had any ear mites um, here, but this is what they say. So that is amazing. Um, the next product here by Shake Organic is the eye cleanser. Now this one I really really love because um, I just started using this and doo -doo -doo -doo, let me get to my notes. So it cleanses and it hydrates the eyes. Um, it's a natural it says that it's a natural tear stain cleaner. It says that it relieves eye infections. 
It soothes information, inflammation, in, what did I say, information? <laughs> it soothes inflammation and it helps with those allergy eyes and you know, if we can keep all of that down, then the, tear, the tears won't flow as much. And so it's really important that you put you know something in your pet's eyes because you know they they're low to the ground so they have a lot of outside irritants that come and get in their eyes dust and hair and everything else so using something in their eyes is really important now this one has organic aloe chamomile cucumber sea salt golden seal and dandelion and it says to use weekly, so you don't have to use this every day, but weekly, just one or two squirts in the eyes and we are good to go. And we've been doing this and I really have been liking, um, I do kind of see a, a, like results. I think that Stasi's eyes aren't as red and they're not tearing as much ever since I started using this. I used it every single day while we were having a problem and then now I'm gonna back off a little bit. Now, speaking of eyes, I'm gonna also tell you my very favorite product for so many reasons. Um, and I still do use this in Stasi's eyes as well. Every time I do her top knot, and I don't do her top knot every day now, so, but when I do her top knot, I always spritz this in her eye. And I have been doing this for years now. And I really, really love it. So what this is, is it's a natural alternative to antibiotics and steroids. It's a colloidal silver solution and things like bacteria, fungi, um, yeast cannot live in silver. This, I know that some of you have like called the company or talked to different people and you know there's some conflicting information on whether or not you can use it in the eyes but I can tell you that before I started using it in Stasi's eyes and in Harper's eyes, I did call Chris Christensen and have a very had a very long talk with them about it. And they assured me that it was absolutely safe to use inside the eyes and that as a matter of fact, um, the people that work there were also using it on their children in the children's eyes for pink eye and that it was you know, healing their eyes and it, you know, silver, colloidal silver is also something that can be inhaled by people like to boost your immune system. It's a great product. Look it up. It's a great, great product. Um, it's a natural product and it may be something that some of the vets are not quite as used to because some vets are very, very um, by the book what we learned in vet school kind of vets and they're not used to alternative medications or alternative this is not a medication but alternative therapies um, but if you speak to a holistic vet um, I'm sure that they will tell you that there is nothing wrong with putting this inside of the eye and I personally feel confident putting it in my dog's eyes I have been doing it for years and their eyes are fine. There are no, you know, no ill um, effects from the eyes, but I will preface this by saying, please do your own research, make your own decisions. I am not responsible for your pet's eyes. Um, I am not an expert in any of this by any means. And I meant to say that at the beginning of the video, um, that I'm not a groomer and I'm not an expert in any of this. This is just products that I am bringing to you that I love and that I trust and that I use. So also on this, um, like I said, it does fight bacteria, yeast, fungi. You can use it on hot spots, itchy skin. Um, if you have a pet that, you know how some pets when you um, roll them over on their back and they have like that red skin on their bellies or the little brown spots on their bellies, that's yeast, use this. It, works it really really does work um, you can also use it if your dog has an eye infection or an ear infection it's universal you can use it for just about anything that you would normally use steroids or antibiotics for use this it's Chris Christensen's peace and kindness colloidal silver 
and it can be used on dogs, cats, and horses. Um, and it, it's great, it's great stuff. I cannot say enough good about this. I will link it below. You can also find it on Amazon. The next thing is my very, very most favorite um, cologne, pet cologne, and this is Beautifer. I love it. All I can tell you about this is it smells amazing. It lasts a pretty good long time on them, and I've been using this for years. I love it. It smells so good. We're almost done, y'all. Okay, the next thing that I have are the little rubber bands. So, this is not the original packaging, but I can tell you that Amazon has these. They are the bomb. I bought these little um, rubber bands off of eBay five years ago. Every now and then I'll get one that, you know, when I go to use it, it pops because it's probably getting dry rot now, by now, five years, but hey, five years, that's a pretty darn long time. Um, but they are, the Penguin is the 5 16th size, and that's the size that you want to use for top knots. And then the Fox is the one quarter inch size, and that's the size that I use for piggy tails. So they have them on Amazon, I'm gonna link them below. They are my favorites. They're just dental orthodontic bands but I love them. They have worked really, really good and I, I can't say enough good about them. Next thing that we have here, also not in its original packaging, is the Page One drying powder. Now every single time I do Stassi's top knot, I do use this powder after I clean her face and dry her face with a little soft cloth. Then I take a cosmetic brush, just any eyeshadow brush will do, and then I dip it in the eye powder, and it just looks like talcum powder, except of course it's not. Um, and I just put it all around here, and I really believe that this there's something in here that keeps her face very, very white, and I know if you go back and look at my videos on tear staining and how do you keep the face clean, you will um, see me talk all the time is you need to keep it dry. You need to keep it dry. That is the, mo the most important thing. Uh, I'm having a problem right now with Grayson because when she drinks even out of the water stands that I have, she just gets so wet. Can you imagine if she was drinking out of a bowl? <laughs> like it would be awful. But she drinks out of the water bottles as well. And even though she drinks so fast and so hard that the water comes out so much and so her face gets wet and then that wetness is what causes you know the staining to occur so if you can prevent that and keep it dry then that is most important this is by page one it's the best brand that I have used I used this brand here which I won't mention um, that I just kept the container because I like the container, but I um, just bought a big tub of the page one drying powder and I just, you know, fill this little container up when it gets low and I love it. I've been using it for years and I feel like it's the best one on the market. And I don't know what is in their secret recipe, but I love it. Um, the last thing, I think this is the last thing. The last thing I want to talk about, and I hate to, hate to even talk about it because it's unavailable, but maybe you can find it somewhere. Um, this is the Wall Pet Stylique Grooming Trimmer. I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description box below so that you'll know the name of it and maybe you can find it somewhere. Um, but Amazon doesn't have it anymore, and I don't think Wall on their website doesn't have it anymore, but maybe you can find something similar. It's just a very tiny little, um, see it's about the size of my finger, um, the little head here. It's just a tiny little shaver that shaves like right, you know, here um, on Stasi to keep her little area underneath her nose and above her lip nice and clean and um, it's just, it, it just brings the face out, I believe, when there's not like fuzzy hairs right there. So this is what I use, I love it. This is my second one because my first one crapped out on me um, and I was lucky enough to be able to get it while 
I could get it. Um, but I looked earlier and it says unavailable. So I don't know, you know, how long it's been unavailable or if you can find it anywhere else. Um, so that is it. I think that is everything that I am currently using. Again, I am not a groomer. I am not an expert on any of these items. I just am a pet owner who does a lot of grooming, self-grooming with their dogs because you know, it's a lot of dogs. So of course you get to know like the products that work, the products that you love over all of the times, you know, when you're using it. I can't wait to get in my house so that I will have my dog grooming station back because right now it's really difficult to bathe the dogs in the RV. Um, it's just, it's difficult. It's a little difficult. And Grayson goes to the groomer every two weeks for her bath because that's a real difficulty in the RV. So, but we're going to be doing um, more baths at home once we get that all set up and the house is done so that is it for this video i hope you guys are following along on instagram i know that i got a bunch of different friend requests thank you so much for following along also one thing that i'm thinking about for a future video is a q a would you guys like to have a q a so if so leave your questions in the description or in the box or in the comment section below and i will pick out the most common ones i guess and try to answer all of your questions in the in a next you know in the future in another video and see what you guys have to say and it could be anything it could be about me it could be about the house it could be about the rv of course about the dogs about travel anything that you have been wanting to know ask below i can't promise that i'll answer everything but i will try and do my best so thank you guys for watching i sure did miss you guys and i'm glad to be back thank you so much and i will catch you guys on the next video Mwah!